Several Republican senators said yesterday to reporters that they expect a vote on Friday on whether or not to allow witnesses into the Senate impeachment trial. Now, most of them said Friday, some of them said it could be as late as Saturday, but either way, they're telling us by the end of this week, we're gonna know if we're going to have witnesses show up at this impeachment trial, just like every impeachment trial in the past has had. Further reports indicated that the 51 vote threshold in order to call witnesses had been reached. Apparently the Democrats have been reaching out to some Republicans, talking to them, getting their input on it and trying to secure their vote. Now that part of the story, I'm a little bit more skeptical about, right? I, we have seen Mitt Romney even earlier this morning coming out and saying like, oh, I think it's very important, you know, that we, that we hear from these witnesses. I would like to hear from John Bolton. I think it strengthens the case for calling witnesses. Actually, that was Susan Collins who said that. Yet neither one of them has said, yes, we should hear from witnesses and I'm going to vote to make sure that we should. It really either part of that sentence I just said, none of them have said. So I'm not gonna get my hopes up about this vote. I'm not gonna get my hopes up that suddenly after all their hand wringing and well, golly, I'd love to hear from this fella, but I just don't know if we should. No, either yes or no. And you can tell the press right now, what are you afraid of? As for Collins, you're already losing your reelection bid because of this personality of yours. The, oh, wow, this thing is so horribly wrong and bad, but I'm gonna vote for it anyway, but I'm gosh darn gonna feel horrible about it. Nobody's buying it anymore, Susan Collins. There is a flood of -of out-of-state money coming in the main to support your competitor because people across this country are so dang sick of you. Mitt Romney doesn't have to deal with that yet, but he will in the future. Either way, depending on either one of these two people to be the ones who come in and vote to allow impeachment witnesses, I think that's a little far-fetched. I really do based on what we've seen from them, based on the way that they're phrasing their sentences here, I don't buy into it. I honest to God don't. I would love for them to prove me wrong on Friday or Saturday or whenever this vote takes place. I would love nothing more than to be wrong about everything I've said about impeachment, about how it's not gonna result in anything and how the Democrats kind of screwed the pooch here and how Republicans aren't gonna break with the president. I would love to be wrong about every single bit of it. But based on everything we have seen, based on everything these Republicans have said and done, I currently have zero faith that even one of them is willing to do the right thing and allow these witnesses to come to the impeachment trial. But let's, let's get you know into fantasy world for a second. Let's assume that they do this that they do break with the Republicans and they do allow these witnesses to come in. Okay, so then what? Well, then we probably get to hear from John Bolton. Hopefully we'd get to hear from Lev Parnas because I'm telling you folks, as big as the bombshell is that uh, Bolton dropped the other day, we already knew that. What we don't know is everything that happened with Lev Parnas. That's the guy I think the public needs to hear from. Now at this point, we have heard from John Bolton Yes, it's not on the record and it needs to be and Bolton does need to show up. Parnas is the guy we all need to hear from because Bolton's experiences really only tie in President Trump and Mike Pompeo. Parnas, on the other hand, ties in Trump, Pence, Pompeo, Giuliani, Devin Nunes, and yes, even Donnie Trump Jr. was at their recent little meeting that was released on that videotape. So yeah, I think Parnas is the bigger fish here because he's the guy who definitely has something to lose if he doesn't cooperate. So that's what I would like to see happen. But again, not gonna be optimistic about it, but I would love to be proven wrong about that. Hey everyone, you know what this is. It's the end screen where I'm supposed to beg you to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content from Maria Fire. 
But what I really want to do is ask you to consider becoming a member for more exclusive content and perks, including early access videos and exclusive videos. Check out the link in, in the description or go to youtube.com slash the ring of fire slash membership.